In today's reading and comprehension, we are reading The Elves and the Trendy Shoes by Evelyn Foster and Claudia Venturini. At the end of the story, we have some questions to test your understanding, so stay to the end. Are you ready? Let's go! The elves were sad. They were famous shoemakers, but their shoes had gone out of style in fairy tale land. Ding dong! The shop's doorbell rang, and Cinderella came in. We made some new glass slippers, said the elves. Cinderella shook her head. Oh no, I'm so tired of glass slippers, she sighed, and left. Ding dong! The shop's bell rang again. Puss and Boots came in. We made some new boots, said the elves. Puss and Boots shook his head. I'm so bored of boots, he said, and marched out again. Ding dong! The shop's bell rang once more. The big bad wolf came in. We made some fluffy granny slippers, said the elves. Wolf shook his head. Granny doesn't wear slippers anymore, he groaned and left. The elves looked at each other sadly. Nobody wants our shoes, they cried. They did not notice a shadow creep past the window. When they woke up the next day, the elves were shocked. On the floor of the shop were a dozen pairs of new trendy shoes. The elves had never seen these kinds of shoes before. There were high heels, trendy sneakers, flip-flops, stylish sandals, and even a pair of rollerblades. Ding dong! Just then, the shop's doorbell rang. A prince and princess came in. What amazing shoes, they said. How unusual! We'd like two pairs each. Perfect for our royal ball. All day long, the shoe shop was busy. Soon, all the shoes were sold. Look at all this gold, said one elf. We're rich, said the other. Who made all the shoes though, said one elf. Let's stay up tonight and find out, said the other elf. So they hid above the shop and peeked through the hole in the floor. Ooh, who's this old man? Then they saw an old man tiptoe into the shop. He was wearing very old boots and he had holes in his clothes. The elves jumped out. The surprise man explained. I used to be a shoemaker, but humans got bored with my shoes. They wanted something new. So I decided to give my shoes to you to sell, he said. The elves had an idea. Why don't we give you our fairy tale shoes and you can sell them in your shop? So the elves sold the man some more fairy tale shoes. In return, the man kept making modern, trendy shoes for the elves to sell. And all the characters in the fairy tale land had the coolest new shoes at the fancy dress ball. Wow, do you recognize these characters? If you do, let me know down below. Who are they? Now it's time for some questions. Are you ready? Question 1. Who are the main characters? Is it A. Puss in Boots? B. The Wolf? Is it Cinderella? or the elves? I'll give you a moment. The answer is the elves, of course. Very good. Question two, what is the setting? So where did the story take place? Was it A, at the shoe shop? Or B, at grandma's house? C, the forest? Or D, the castle? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is A, the shoe shop. Did you get that one right? If so, you're amazing. Question three, what is the problem in the story? Was it A, the shoes were too expensive? B, the shoes did not fit the characters? Or C, the shoes were all sold out? Or was it D, the elf shoes were not trendy? I'll give you a moment. The answer is D, the shoes were not trendy anymore. Very good. Final question, who helped the elves at the end of the story? Was it the old man? The fairy godmother? Was it the prince? Or was it Cinderella? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is the old man helped them. Very good. How many questions did you get right? If you got four, it means you got 100% and you're amazing. Good work. Did you like this story? What were your favorite parts? Share with me down below. 
and also if you have any other stories you want us to read next time let me know too thanks for watching have a great day i'll see you next time bye bye